Hello students, in this video let us discuss how to find out the errors when two resistances are connected in parallel. It's a very special question because the method of the solution is slightly different. So let's begin. Here two resistances are given in parallel. Their values are written here. R1 is 3.0 plus or minus 1.8. Here 1.80 is the error in the first resistance. Similarly, R2 is 6.0 plus or minus 0 0.72 ohms. 0 0.72 ohm is the error in the measurement of the second resistance. So we have to find the equivalent resistance along with the error. Now, as these resistances are 3 and 6 ohm, finding their equivalent resistance is very easy. By using this formula, 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. So the value of R1 is 3 and the value of R2 is 6. So therefore we will get 1 by 3 can be written as 2 by 6. Denominators are equal now. So we can say that it will become 3 by 6. Okay. That becomes 1 by 2. So we are getting 1 by R is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, the equivalent resistance will be equal to 2 ohms. So, coming back to our diagram, here we can say that the equivalent resistance is equal to 2 ohms. But what is the error? How do we find out the net error in this combination? For finding the net error in the combination, what we need to do is that, first we must understand that error quantities are very small quantities. As you can see, the error are very very small quantities. In mathematics when we deal with very small quantities we can use differentiation. Therefore in order to find the amount of error in all these quantities we can we can use the differentiation method. So here is the differentiation method. First of all write down the formula 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2. Then after this differentiate this equation. Differentiation of 1 by r will be minus 1 divided by r square multiplied by dr. Similarly, differentiation of 1 by r1 will be minus 1 by r1 square minus 1 by r1 square into dr and differentiation of 1 by r2 will be minus 1 divided by r2 square into dr2. Now this looks a little different kind of differentiation. Let us understand how we get this kind of differentiation result. For understanding this part, let me take a very simple example. Let us say y is equal to 1 by x. Okay, if y is equal to 1 by x is given, it is very easy to find dy by dx. We know the formula also. You must be knowing the formula that dy by dx for 1 upon x is minus 1 by x square. You can refer to any textbook for this purpose. Okay. Just look at the list of formulae of differentiation. The differentiation of 1 by x is minus 1 upon x square. Now, since the left hand side is the ratio dy divided by dx, so we can cross multiply dx on the other side and we will get dy is equal to minus 1 by x square into dx. Okay. dy is equal to minus 1 by x square into dx. And lastly, what is y here? y is nothing but 1 upon x. So therefore we are getting d of 1 by x that means differentiation of 1 by x is minus 1 divided by x square into dx. And that is why for, by using the same logic we can say the differentiation of 1 upon r must be minus 1 divided by r square into dr. So this is the way how we got this result. Differentiation of 1 by r is minus 1 by r square into dr and similarly the other results also. I hope that this step is clear up till now. So let us proceed now to solve the question. So first of all, all the minus sign from the entire equation can be cancelled and everything becomes plus. So we will get dr by r square is equal to dr1 dr1 by r1 square and plus dr2 by r2 square. Now we will substitute the values. On the right hand side here, 
what is the dr1 dr1 is a very small amount of change in the value of r1 if you look at the resistance r1 3.0 plus or minus 1.80 so this 1.80 this is a dr1 a small amount of change or error in the in the first resistance so dr1 is 1.80 Divide by R1 square. R1 is actually 3 ohms. R1 is 3 ohms. The square of 3 will be 9. Plus DR2. DR2 is the error in the second resistance. 0 0.72. 0 0.72. Divide by R2 square. R2 is actually 6 ohms. The square of 6 is 36. Okay. And what about on the left side? This DR in the numerator is nothing but the error in the resistance R which we have to find out this is our unknown quantity dr and divide by R square it is nothing but the square of the equivalent resistance R is the net resistance with 2 ohm so therefore 2 square is 4 let us evaluate this right hand side we will get left hand side is same as dr divided by 4 and this one will be as you know 9 to the 18 so this will be 0 0.2 and plus uh, 36 times 2 is 72 so this will become uh, uh, 2 and there are two places of decimal so 0 0.02 okay two places of decimal here so by addition of these two you will get 0 0.22 0 0.22 then dr by 4 is 0 0.22 so therefore dr must be dr must be 4 multiplied by 0.22 that is 0 0.88 so this is the amount of error 0 0.88 ohm is the net amount of error in our combination of resistance. So how do we write the final answer? The final answer will be written as R equivalent is equal to the equivalent value which is 2 ohm and plus or minus the error that is this one 0 0.88 plus or minus 0 0.88 ohms. This is the final answer reporting with the error. I hope you understood the problem solution how to get this answer so whenever we are having these kinds of situation that it is called as sum of reciprocals when the final result is when the reciprocal of final result is equal to the sum of reciprocals then we have to use the differentiation method as explained here to find out the error one more such type of formula in physics is about the uh, related to the lens or the mirror as you know in case of lens or mirror also we have 1 upon f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u that is also the sum of the reciprocals in that case also we have to find out error in the same method of differentiation thanks for watching the video